don't adjust your screens just yet guys i know it's too early to be putting up christmas decorations i know that however last december i posted a video on youtube with christmas gift ideas to sew using fat quarters and it ticked along kind of nicely on youtube for the last nine months and then all of a sudden in september that video has racked up nearly 70,000 views absolutely crazy so i know that you guys are looking already for christmas gift ideas to sew so i thought i would bring you seven more christmas gift ideas to sew for your loved ones your friends and your family this coming festive season i know that i am not alone in being someone who every year goes oh i'm gonna make this and this and this gift and this gift and this cake and these sweets and this chocolates and this fabric thing for all these people for christmas and then it comes to the middle of december and i've not done any of them so if you are someone who is much better organized than me hopefully this video will be useful so i have a little stack of things that i have made over the last 12 months using fat quarters or one of them actually is a more of a dressmaking project um you can use scrap fabrics cottons anything that you've got lying around to make lots of these things and obviously quilting cottons and fat quarters there is such a huge vast array of prints and beautiful beautiful prints out there so you can tailor what you're making to the person that you're giving it to which is really nice so let's get started with gift number one all of these projects i will pop links to below with full tutorials or there's a couple of video tutorials on how to make these things so you can follow along gift number one you cannot go wrong with a peg bag unless you're giving it to someone who lives in an apartment and doesn't have an outside area to hang their washing but otherwise a peg bag is a really really great super easy simple gift this was one made earlier this year using these really beautiful indigo fat quarters that were in the So Haley Jane boxes. And I just used one of my daughter's old um, coat hangers. So it's a nice, small, compact little sort of pocket. You could interface the pieces if you wanted them to be a bit sturdier, um, but I've left them loosey goosey. So yeah, really lovely. And I've seen some really great other examples of peg bags online as well so there's lots of ideas but obviously if you like this one super simple head over to the blog post to see the tutorial gift number two is a bit of a two for one it is this beautiful very cute very cozy padded book sleeve and bookmark as well so it's this little triangle it's just um you've got two triangles and two squares and you sew them all together and you just pop the corner of the book page in there and that sits nicely and then you can put your whole book in this lovely book sleeve this obviously has got a bit of a garden house plant theme to it for any plant lovers out there it's padded you can in terms of padding if you want to make something that needs padding obviously you can use batting or um, proper quilting padding <laughs> or you can use if you've got a piece of, sort of thick fleecy fabric lying around or um, French terry or something like that just something to give it a little bit of protection as well and so yeah that's goes in there like that gift number three a lot of us have been given tea cozies in our time but have you been given one as cute and adorable as this one that has french pastries and cakes and teacups all over it and hearts on the inside this has been made using um what's it called that heat what's it called it's gone from my head into bright that into bright batting so it keeps the heat inside as well which is really really lovely we've got a little tag you can add a cute little label as well i actually wish i had sewn this label into the side seam as well it looks a bit rubbish sewn like that this one would have been better sewn on the side seam but you can get different types of labels so just 
be aware when it comes to if you want to add a label whether it looks better sewn on the front or the side seam and then it's been quilted as well this was our meet me in paris themed so hilly jane box and this was the fabric that went in there it's really cute and i had great fun making a whole reel i can't remember if i posted it on youtube or not but i made a whole reel i went to my parents garden i bought pastries and scones and did afternoon tea in the garden with this just to advertise that i had made this it was delightful a lot of work went into that video actually but there we go cute little tea cozy if you have a tea lover in your um friends or family then that's a great one for them gift number four four yes gift number four if you have a travel lover in your family then this little passport cover is a great idea we did a travel themed so hilly jane box back in june and had these really lovely palm tree and camel fabrics um obviously i haven't got a passport in here so it's a bit flimsy but this was a really really quick and easy so it needs a bit of a, an iron actually a little button or you could do a popper or you could do just any kind of little actually you didn't even need to do a fastening i just liked the addition of a fastening and of course the addition of a beautiful button as well so yeah a little passport cover is a great very quick project to make as well the next super super quick make is a bowl cover and you can actually do like a set of bowl covers in different sizes this is just like a cereal bowl take that off and i'll show you all it is is a fat quarter cut into a circle use pinking shears around the outside um fold over stitch leave a gap add some elastic sew up the gap and you've got a shower cap for a doll or a bowl cover so if you're someone who makes overnight oats for your breakfast the next day or often has leftovers to put in the fridge that kind of thing these are perfect and like i said you can make different sizes this took a really small amount of fabric as well so maybe you've got like a little egg you could do a little egg cup one you could do a bigger one for like a mixing bowl or a salad bowl um you could also use some beeswax you could make covers using beeswax on this fat um, on fat quarter fabric or cotton fabric there's loads of different tutorials i think online there's a few different ways of doing it melting the beeswax onto the fabric whether or not you'd want to do that before sewing or after sewing would it depends on your machine i think um, but that is another option or you could get um that like waterproof fabric you know like you get uh you can go and buy table cover table oilcloth fabric to make those as well so a few different ideas there this is this was actually the very last fat quarter tutorial that was in the magazines for the boxes and over on the blog because we have now removed the fat quarters from the boxes but nevertheless these are great great projects so yeah little one there the last two gifts that i am going to show you are ones that i made on youtube a few months ago so i will link back and you can go back and have a look the first one probably one of my favorite like quick and easy makes ever Ooh, my arm's not quite long enough was this tote bag with a pocket on the outside and beautiful fat quarters on the inside i used two coordinating colored fat quarters for the inside and this was just some leftover linen from some dungarees that i made obviously any chance for a label and we have a heat transfer so this was a tilly and the buttons heat transfer that came in we did a tilly themed box back in july and had this stay home and sew heat transfer but if you go on to etsy you can find heat transfers for almost anything or actually there is a website there is a website called redbubble and i think they quite often do heat transfers i will double check but i think you can get like any heat transfer so 
depending on the recipient of the gift, you could get heat transfer to match their interest. So yeah, I absolutely love that. And that's a tutorial over on YouTube as well. Okay, the last gift is more of a dressmaking one. This is a tutorial that I made. When did I make this? Before the summer. And it is, I mean, you're not gonna see much of it here, but I will put some images in the video. And it is this Daisy Jones inspired top. Just a really loose, floaty top that you can make without a pattern. So I show you how to make it in the video. No pattern required, just a piece of fabric, a couple of cuts and a couple of stitches and you have this really, really lovely floaty top. So because it doesn't require a pattern, you can make it to fit pretty much anybody. I'm, I have quite sizable hips. So I just made the, um, made it a little bit wider. I explain all of that in the video, so go and check that out. But if you've got a really beautiful piece of fabric that you're not sure what to do with, something like this, would be amazing and because you don't have to fit it it doesn't have to fit the person you don't have to take their measurements particularly so that's a really really great option and i think will be really well received as well i have also made dressing gowns in the past so like a loose summary which you could extend if you had an even longer piece of fabric you could turn this into more of a dressing gown you could do a tie to go with it that kind of thing they go down really, really well as gifts as well. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Let me know in the comments below if you are gonna make any of these or if you have any other suggestions of fabric gifts that you could sew for Christmas, let me know in the comments. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Normal service will resume. No more Christmas talk for another month and a half, maybe. Um, and I, I'll be putting these, these really rubbish decorations away. If this video has taught me anything, is that I need better Christmas decorations for the office this year. Um, yeah. Have a lovely day, everyone. Don't forget to click like on this video and subscribe if you aren't already, and I will see you all next week. Bye.